So we're here today with Gil Freelander from the Israeli startup um, TalkOn. Uh, good afternoon, uh, Gil. Uh, can you tell us a bit about the app you have developed for uh, smartphone users to help them detect um, radiation? Uh, sure, sure, Carmel. Um, so TalkOn developed a mobile application for Android. The application, once you download, runs in the background allows you to talk on your phone as much as you want and once we, once we detect that radiation spikes during a call these rare instances will provide you simple suggestions of how to continue and enjoy your phone and avoiding that radiation and these are actionable suggestions so if you look at the screen you'll see that we suggest to change location a bit uh, distance the phone from your head use a speaker phone an, an earpiece a bluetooth so the whole idea is that we'll let you know these rare instances when radiation spikes and how to talk on enjoying your phone. So how did you come up for the idea with the app for the application? So the idea came up uh, three years ago. It always was got me very curious that you see on every mobile phone there are reception bars, but it seems that somebody forgot to put the transmission bars and a phone receives signals and transmits signals. And that was the first thing that kind of intrigued me. And the more I read on this issue, I found that science is getting come with more and more evidence about possible health impacts of mobile radiation, which was coupled last year by the World Health Organization classifying non-ionizing radiation as a possible carcinogen. So that was kind of the idea behind it, and we're a team of three co-founders, two based in Israel, one in the Silicon Valley, uh, and we developed a technology which is a very sound technology underneath the hood of the application for over a year, uh, and now the application is available on Android phones. What about um, the iPhone? So the iPhone, we have developed the application. We have been rejected by the App Store, claiming it will create confusion with the users. I even had a short correspondence with Steve Jobs. Uh, and for the time being, uh, they're a closed garden. They don't wish to have our application on the App Store. But Google users can enjoy it as much as they want. So um, where is your main user base at the moment? Okay, so it's quite a global user base, so we have a strong user base in North America, in Western Europe. One of our surprises is that we have a significant install base in China, and there's a wide middle class in China that is concerned with the quality of water they drink, the vegetables they eat, and the radiation that their phones are emitting. Finally, how are you hoping to monetize from TalkOn? So while we provide significant value for the users for free, we collect information on an aggregate level anonymously from our users and we're able to monitor mobile operators network in real time so each operator in specific location what is the quality of the network uh, call drops uh, and many much many more valuable information and that will be the source of revenue to the company while our goal is to continue and provide this tool free to the users and you hope to break into the Irish marketplace following your visit to the Dublin Web Summit? Uh, very, very much. It's, it's a great event here. It's a market that we didn't have strong penetration yet and hopefully we'll get much more uh, exposure here and uh, Irish Android phone users will be able to enjoy like their peers around the world this great application.